My name is Nura and 25 years ago I used to be one of the most famous singer of weddings in my country. I was called all the time by the most wealthiest families to sing in their wedding, I became very rich and my fame rose until one day. It was our week off with my team but suddenly the phone rang and I picked up, it was a woman who had a strange voice she asked me to come sing in the wedding of her daughter the same night. And I was about to refuse because it was my week off but she said, I will pay double the price you ask and seeing the huge amount of money I was going to make I immediately accepted. So she gave me the address and hung up and I called all my team to convince them. They wanted to rest so they first hesitated but after hearing about the amount of money we would make they accepted and we took the car and left at night. During the whole trip I felt a strange feeling in my heart but I didn't say anything and the address was very strange it seemed to be in the middle of nowhere. So we found it hard to find our way but we finally managed to get there but once we arrived. We saw so many people outside the music was loud and the house was huge, we got out and entered the house. The people in there were dressed in a strange way and the woman who spoke to me on the phone came to receive me and I recognized her voice right away. She welcomed us but when she kissed my cheek I noticed her skin was hard like a stone and her clothes were also strange and I kept trying to ignore the strange feeling inside me and she showed us to our room where we could change and rest and prepare to perform. We got ready and went to perform and once I started to sing more and more people came and they started to dance in such a strange way that fear took over me. But I didn't let it show I kept signing and my team kept performing until one of the girls of my team fainted and fell to the ground. And when I was about to ask what happened a male from my team was starring in shock. And when I followed the direction of his gaze. I saw the people who were dancing they started to jump and their feet were not human feet. They were animal goat feet. And I started to shake. Knew that if we showed our fear they would not let us go so I kept strong and told my team to act normal and keep going if we want to leave this place and despite their fear they all agreed knowing it was the only choice we had. Upon noticing the girl of my team who fainted one of them came to me and asked what happened? And I tried to count in my fear upon looking at her and said nothing it's just the fatigue she just need to rest a little and we went to our resting room and carried the girl. Once in the resting room the girl of my team woke finally and screamed she said, have you seen their feet? What are they? And I told everyone I saw what you all saw but we must keep performing normally if we want to get out of here fastly so don't show anything no matter what you see. I think we came to the wedding of the Jins and Fudger Adan is after 2 hours so let's hold on until then. And they all agreed. We got back to the stage and we performed, I was doing my best to sing normally and we performed song after song until they started to act crazy and do weird dances and noises and when they jumped again their feet were the same scary goat feet and one of my team screamed from fear and they all turned to look at us and I froze. I called Allah and asked him to save me. And if he did I would never sing again and right away I heard the most beautiful thing ever Adan. And suddenly lights were off and everybody disappeared so with my team we gathered our belongings and ran. I should have known what they were the moment I arrived there and saw the strange house and stranger people surrounding it I should have trusted my feeling, or when the woman who kissed my cheek her face was hard as a stone which is not human at all. Or when they were attracted to music and a voice whispered in my ears, continue I love your music. Don't stop singing. Or when they showed us our resting room that looked like nobody entered. There since hundred years judging by the old bed and the dust everywhere and the smell. But I still didn't want to believe until my eyes laid on their feet. We ran as fast as we could until we saw a man walking and he stared at us and we stared at him he thought we were jinns and we thought he was until he said, what are you guys doing in this old abandoned house? I didn't understood what he talked about until I turned and saw that the modern house full of lights we entered in earlier was now an old house in ruins. So we told the man what happened and he said, indeed this house is inhabited since hundred years and is known to be inhabited by jinns. From that day I never left my sala and I went to perform Umrah and Hajj, I never sang again and I spent my days in worshipping Allah, when I think of what happened that night it made me see how unaware I was and I am thankful that it changed my life and permitted me to find Allah again Alhamdulillah. Do you know what happened when we listen to music? We attract the devil jinns. There's a reason why music is haram.